I'm taking it up higher. I'm taking it up higher. I'm taking it up a mountain. It's time, it's time to jump. My eyes got flickering flames. Up to the sky, make it rain. Breaking the frames, breaking the chains. Ain't nobody holding the reins. Turning it on, trigger the bomb. I got the world in my palm. Staying calm in the storm. Where I was born, I call it home. I'm hitting the hardest. I'm hitting the target. My cut is the sharpest. Seize the new moment. We got this. We got this. We got this. They can't stop this. We got this. We got this. We can't stop. We got this. We got this. They can't stop this. We got this. We got this. We can't stop. I'm taking it up higher. I'm taking it up higher. I'm taking it up a mountain. That's a mountain rub. I'm taking it up. Started this video for the quick workout, guys. Today I put my knee brace on and went to do my max cardio, guys, and she felt so good. There was a little bit of pain, but not much. So Tom, I'm gonna ice her up tonight and give her a rest. I will be back in the gym tomorrow for my regular weightlifting. But guys, it felt so good to be able to get this max cardio out the way, to be able to do it again. And guys, it killed me. That was 30 minutes of pure torture, but I'm so glad I was able to do it. It's probably been over a month since I've been able to do my max cardio. And I love my max cardio. I love the workouts that my PRX family does, but it's just been hard to do since my knee wasn't feeling the best. So yes, guys, she is getting there. She's almost back and I feel so good about it. <sighs> it's just great when you're able to do the things that you normally do. And you know, guys, we take a whole lot of stuff for granted. You know, it's a blessing to be able to get up and exercise, guys. And we need to stop taking the little things for granted and just stop taking things for granted because your girl is feeling good today. I'm so glad I was able to get that cardio in, man, because we didn't work out at the clinic today because we both were tired. But me, I got goals, guys. I'm trying to be out of the 230s by the end of December. I'm not letting nobody else stop me from getting my workout in. I didn't work out there, but I came home and got it done, y'all, and I feel so good. I'm so glad that I did. It's just a great feeling, guys. And this is what I'm going to be using to ice my knee tonight. I purchased this from Walmart. It's a hot and cold um, compress. And this is it. You put it in the freezer for, they say at least two hours, but it's not going to be in there two hours. And I'm just going to get it a nice chill. And then you also can put it in the microwave to heat it up if you want it to be hot. So I'm going to put this on my knee tonight, y'all. I'm not taking no slack. I'm going to make sure that she is ready because come January the 1st, I'm doing a whole new set of workouts, you know, just in case if she's not up to par. But I think she's going to be ready. She's going to be ready to get back to the PRX workouts because that is what your girl need. That's what I crave. It's crazy when you realize that you're craving workouts because you can't do them anymore. You know, the workouts are hard and they, they really kick your butt. <laughs> they really do, guys. But... I love those workouts. It seems like every other thing that I'm doing, it doesn't give me that that feeling like it does when I do my PRX workouts, guys. So, icing her tonight. Get ready to break, drink my protein shake after my workout. It's the Premier Protein. I like the vanilla flavor because I think it is so good. For the fact that you can mix it with other stuff and it doesn't, you know, change the taste on things. So, protein, guys. And I also must tell you that today I was a little bit higher on my carbs. And that was because your girl was not prepared. I was out of my protein shake. So, breakfast was a little bit different. But the thing about it, I'm still under 100 carbs for today. I think I'm like at 83, 85 or something. But... That just goes to show that preparation is key. Meal prep, guys. Drink your water. Like right now, I am on my last 40 ounces. And after I finish this, your girl would have hit a gallon for the day. And so far, I've been doing good with my water. I've been drinking 
at least a gallon, but on days that I don't get a gallon, it's been maybe 80 ounces or a little bit over 80. So I'm really trying to stay consistent, guys. Really trying to stay consistent and killing this weight loss journey because I've been on it for so long and I'm so ready to get to maintenance phase. And I know they say maintenance phase is harder and whatever, but guys, I'm ready to get to maintenance phase. It's full steam ahead. You know, I've been so consistent since I've been here and I'm hoping that I can keep the consistency up when I go home. I won't be home officially until the beginning of February, but the plan is to stay consistent like I am here. No junk in the house, you know, just being mindful of what I'm eating. And I think that's going to help me get to where I want to be, guys.